Mike Whitney and welcome to Who Dares Wins, the show where we could dare you to do something you never thought you could, should or would do. And the best bit is, you never know when I'm coming to get you. Okay, the great white shark, a magnificent creature, but the most lethal killing machine in the ocean. Some of these babies are as big as cars and we have set up a really frightening dare to get into the ocean with a great white shark. And the person that we're going to dare is Donna Powell. Donna's 33 and from Lucas Heights in New South Wales. She loves netball and has been known to play a bit of touch footy in her time. She also loves to give her dad, Dave, a bit of stick. And Dave's nominated her for a really good reason. Oh, well, we was up in Queensland and we'd had a few drinks and I fell asleep on the lounge and she out with a razor blade. Oh, and she shaved, never. Yeah, she did. <laughs> took my eyebrow off. And the next day we was going into South Bank and in the train and she had a band-aid on it and she was mate letting everyone know on the train that I was too old to be getting into fights and everyone's garking at me and <laughs> So this is payback time. Yeah, payback. It's which one payback. was it? That one? Or that, that that's one? Grand Barrier than yeah. the other one. Well Donna, <laughs> this is your payback time for doing so, so many nasty things to your dad. I can't believe that. I'd be filthy too. So we're coming to get you. <laughs> We're at Donna Powell's house right now. She's just down here, round the corner to the left, sunning herself out on the backyard patio. Has no idea. Let's go and surprise her. Look out. There's a monster in the driveway. <laughs> Donna. I know who you are. <laughs> Take them sunnies off, Donna. I want to see no. your eyes. Come on. <laughs> Did you really shave your dad's eyebrow off? Not much. No, no, not much. No. <laughs> this is payback time for you. The big decision is you have to come with me now. Right. <laughs> right now. So, come on, Tanya's waiting. Oh, That's all right. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Let's go. Now, no. we're going to take Donna, introduce her to Tan. Oh, We've flown Donna Powell to Port Lincoln in South Australia, the home of the great white shark. Donna has no idea what a dare is, and Tanya's just about Hi, to Donna. give her the good news. How are you? Thanks. Jump out. Oh. Well, I bet you're awfully curious. Yes, I am. Mm, we have got a heart stopping dare for you today. Donna, we're going to take you out off the coast of South Australia, and we're going to go looking for great white sharks. Oh, great. Right. Once we find them, we're going to send you down in this cage. They're going to see you and think, dinner. These things are mean, and they're man-eaters too. Come out on the boat with us so that we can find some sharks. You can have some time to think about it. Okay. The trip out to the shark-infested waters is going to take about eight hours. Enough time for Donna to think about the dare. But first, Dave, her dad, the man who's nominated her, has got to be told what's happening and what he set her up for. Look at the cage you put me into. White pointed sharks are going to be swimming around me, tearing at the cage. Lovely. These things are going to grab the cage and shake poor Donna around like a milkshake. And this be is good to done. watch, yeah. yeah. It'll be payback time for you, mate. Yeah, 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 it's all I'll right. Have, this I'll is your the... payback. Donna hasn't yet agreed to get in the water with a great white shark. And before she can do that, she's going to have to go through some intensive dive training. This is going to have to be done on the way out, in safe waters, where there are no sharks about. You'll be able to speak to me as well. Donna's never scuba dived before, so this is going to be a whole new experience. Our safety officer and dive instructor go through all the dive and safety procedures. Only when they're happy that Donna is competent in the water and won't panic, will they allow the dare to continue. What's it like down there? Donna seems to be quite confident and is easily adjusting to the surroundings. Is the visibility good? Can you see The right shark around? cage is made from steel and Lexan bulletproof glass. It's going to keep the shark out, but Donna's going to feel like shark bait sitting in there. The well, Donna, you've proved you're okay in the water, but will you be so keen to get back in when there's a great white shark out there? Oh, I'm cold looking at you. 
Okay, it's back to Donna, who's out there looking for a great white shark. Our boats are moored off Neptune Island in South Australia, a place renowned for great white sharks. And we've dared 33-year-old Donna Powell to get into the water with them. It's late in the afternoon, and the crew is burling the water to bring the sharks in. As yet, no success. Donna hasn't yet accepted the dare, and the time was rapidly approaching for that crucial decision to be made. It's not until 9 o'clock that night that things take a turn. Out in the murky black water could be seen the fin of a great white shark. Throughout the night, the crew kept the burling up, but by early morning, there was no sign of the shark. Our dive instructor wanted Donna prepared in case the great white came back. Donna is nervously waiting. Turn about 150 metres straight down there. The great white's back. Estimated length, five metres and weighing nearly two tonnes. And it didn't take long to see just how ferocious these creatures are. when I fronted her up in her backyard. This is her now. She's been at sea for 48 hours, never died before, and has just had her first sighting of what damage a great white shark is capable of doing. This one has just attacked and eaten the boat's marker boy. Donna's dare is to get into the water with it. Do you want to go down in the cage with her? Yeah, I'll have a go. Will you? Yeah, yeah. Sensational. Donna, you are one brave lady. You've never died before and you've just seen a shark eat part of the boat. And you've still said yes. This is it, Dave. Yeah, he's a big one. She's out there, sir. This is really frightening stuff. Immediately, the great white senses movement in the cage. Donna, you OK? <laughs> coming around again now. On your left hand side. The great white has seen Donna and is on the charge. You sound a bit out of breath. She's a bit nervous. Yeah, not wrong. So am I. The great white is still ripping in and giving the cage a real hard time. She gave a big nudge that time. Remember, this thing is bigger than a station wagon. panic a bit as the big fella again attacks the cage. You okay? I'm okay. It circles and comes in for another strike. Look out, here she comes. She's coming straight for you this time, Donna. She shook the cage around a bit that time. Straight for you. Even though the shark's eaten the boat's marker boy and an absolute ton of burly, he's still sniffing round for a bit more tucker. Donna, that's about as close as you ever want to get to the teeth of a great white pointer. And I'll tell you what, he's really given that cage a good workout. Right up right to the glass. The door's wide open. I can even see a bit of seaweed in the teeth. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. Oh. And she's 
And she did a few yeah, rolls right. for you in front of you, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you're yeah. happy you went oh, through with yeah, it? Yeah. And all that waiting was worth the while then. It's worth being that close. Dave, you must be pretty proud. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Congratulations, huge Donna, you're our hero as well. That was incredible. And, mate, for your bravery, you're off on a fantastic Harvey World holiday.